Initially, this video was supposed to be about how to return from OpenWRT to the official ASUS software, but while reinstalling OpenWRT I kind of forgot that there were multiple steps involved and managed to break the router. It can happen to anyone, especially if you do stuff my way, so let's find a way to debrick it. Luckily, the guys from OpenWRT do provide at least one solution, so I should follow the instructions this time. But before that, I consider that there are multiple levels to the screwing up and in my case it was relatively mild because the device would power up and I could also connect devices to the LAN to receive an IP address. The Wi-Fi was turned off and I had no way of accessing the management platform. There are some more severe cases where the device could enter in endless powering up loops or refuse to work altogether, but I was lucky. Apparently, Ace provides a tool designed especially for this situation, so let's see if it works. I went to the official webpage for the product and downloaded the latest available firmware and then I also downloaded the firmware restoration utility. After that I installed the rescue utility and I had to change the adapter options. I used Windows 10 so to reach this section I right clicked the internet icon from the bottom right corner and chose open network and internet settings. Then I clicked on change adapter options and right clicked the active ethernet connection. Afterwards I selected properties and double clicked the IP version 4 properties. Then I entered the following static IP address. Now it's time to put the router in rescue mode. This is done by disconnecting the power cord and then, while pressing the reset button, I reconnected it and waited until the power LED flashed slowly. After that, I let go of the button and connected the router to the computer using an Ethernet cable. I opened the firmware restoration tool, chose the firmware that I previously downloaded and while making sure that the PC was not connected to Wi-Fi network, I clicked on upload. After about a minute, I got the message that the system was successfully recovered and indeed, the LEDs were back and everything was once again functional. Now, let's install OpenWRT once again, but this time doing things properly. A few minutes later, we got access to the OpenWRT interface. And now, let's get back to the initial purpose of this video. Let's see how easy it is to revert back to the original firmware. First, we need to install the FAC install package and I initially searched for it within the packages that can populate the list, but no, it is necessary to download it and then upload the package manually. Then, I moved to the backup flash firmware section and clicked on flash image. I searched for the firmware that I initially downloaded and used to debrick the router, and then I let it do its thing. A few minutes have passed so I checked if I could access the interface. And voila, we get the original firmware back. That's about all for this video, subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content, thank you for watching and see you next time.